Test, 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 test. To test, test, test. Test. All right, sounds pretty good. Got my Mac going, got my big screen, hopefully gonna be showing this. So the Twitch app on PlayStation sucks. Welcome back to Stellaris, folks. What? Well, you know what? While I'm doing this, I can actually show you a little bit more of the game. So, this is my third, I was going to say run through, somehow I've already put in 37 hours to this game on two run throughs, only which one I got even near the mid game, and the other one I got maybe mid, late, early game. I'm very slow with these kind of games, obviously, especially when I first get them. And so, I'll talk a little bit about my previous run throughs if it comes up, but this third run through, I'm finally doing humans, I'm going to use some more human names because I get really confused with all of the names of the planets and the ships already so at least if they're based on any language on earth it will be more recognizable to me that's honestly the main reason i also designed to be a little bit more productive um get more minerals uh there is really only one major lesson in 20 in 37 hours that i have um how's the music there's really only one major lesson that was a constant through everything, which was that I could always up enough resources in any of this insane amount of resources up top here. Um, it's less confusing than it looks, especially early on, it's actually less confusing than it looks, but the tweaking in late game it can, get, uh, can, get, can get crazy. And so, but all of that being said, and here's Sol. I, I, I retain the name of the sun, Sol. Uh, everything else is going to be a little different. Look at this beautiful little solar system here. So, the one thing I learned more than anything is that if you fall behind on mineral production, it gets almost impossible to make major gains. Um, because... Um, because essentially because everything costs at least some minerals and most things don't cost other things. So energy, sure, food, of course you need to feed the population. Here is the, sol the solar system re-envisioned and here's the giant galaxy. So we'll see if we get through this entire game, but we're definitely going to go further. So here's our home world, Mitra. Which is a sort of alpine ice world, mountainous and and so forth. Um, but anyways, the point being, you need things that cost 100 minerals in the beginning. You need things that cost 100 minerals in the middle. At the end, like almost every few turns, you need to be paying minerals. And so you really need your mineral input to be many times the others combined. So like right now, I'm plus 15. But sometimes, like, once I got 100 years into the game and I was, like, well below plus 15, I couldn't even get plus 15. How am I supposed to keep up with the future costs, which are going to be more? Um, so, so I, I gave uh, this particular uh, race a version of humanity. Um, that's sort of an African-Asian motif, I guess, version. Uh, some bonuses to minerals uh, and, their, and their character traits. I had heard, I think, that Alpine worlds, you know, with all the mountains and stuff, have more minerals. It's a good place to start. Um, I increased the speed of technology development. It's really the only quote-unquote cheat I put on, but a lot of people are using it because it, it really is slow at the normal uh, speed. In, in terms of getting new technologies, being able to implement them, um, and it really 
I, I think the other races will also get a, 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 a benefit as well. It just makes the game move quicker, um, hopefully. And on top of that, while I'm paused right now, I will pause during major events or decision-making moments. I am going to try and make my sort of default, not pause, but normal speed, and then put it to fast or faster during parts that we need to skip through. So for this first video, uh, I'm just going to kind of explain what's going on here um, and then uh, tell you sort of what the plan is and then we'll take a short break and then we'll come back um, shortly thereafter um, and uh, and really dive into it. So basically, in all the, the standard campaigns, you begin with one system, a few different ships, different kinds, um, a planet that you, you're, you're settled on. In this, in this case, Mitra, um, which, as you can see, is sort of a rockier planet, but it has access to lots of minerals, which is great. A spaceport can build civilian ships. And you have a mining station or two built that are giving you some minerals. These look awesome. I picked the color, but I didn't realize it was going to make all the ships have that incredible teal color. So that was a win for Bizzle. Some, you know, other planets... Like here's Mercury, a re-envisioned version of Mercury in the solar system, that that is uh, has some energy uh, credit possibility. Here's Mars, uh, which has low to no habitability, but could possibly be terraformed at some point. Um, you have um, our home planet, uh, Mitra, which I showed you before. Very pretty. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Here we go. So you can see it's it's pretty well settled, but yeah, as you'd imagine in a rocky world. Population is is uh, clustered together. It's got a nice balance of a lot of energy, a lot of minerals, and a trickle of, of research and, and unity, and, and which is sort of civilian power and so forth. This is the governor. I did not pick him. I can always change him. Um, I did pick the leader. This woman, Jandra, uh, that we are called the Alari, which is just the this is sort of a Black Panther tribute. So this is sort of an Afro futurist human civilization when things have been somewhat renamed um, and uh, what would become the Alari people um, or the Alarians. Um, we are, I believe, an oligarchy. Yeah. So it's not a total democracy. It's not fully egalitarian, although we claim to be egalitarian in our ethics. Mostly just means that elections happen less often in this future society that would seem to make more sense when corporations would have more power and power would be more centralized. Um, but also bureaucracy, much more difficult. Um, here is our science ship. Also looks amazing. It's going to go exploring. We also have one construction ship to start. Um, it is currently being assigned to Triton, which has three minerals, uh, if you build there, um, which is good. Anything more than two... Um, for which it costs like 80 or 90 bucks uh, for a research station. There's the construction vehicle. Um, it, that's a good deal. Um, and sometimes you'll see research planets that have four, five, six, or more um, in terms of uh, research resources, meaning you, you sort of actively mine these three things up top here physics, society, engineering. Um, I'll give you a quick look at our tech. Our uh, physics lad here is working on deflectors. Uh, I, I went, I didn't do much fleet tech early last time, uh, and I've been watching some people who know these types of games better than me. And they basically said, you know, if you're going to get some basic upgrades, get them right away, so that when you first start building, sort of beyond your first three ships, which are here, that's the mighty fleet, strike force chimera, baby. Oh yeah. I didn't even come up with a name. How tight is that? Right on the sun. They're just bathing there. Um, so that, um, you know, like, I, I won't build any more ships. I'll get deflectors, maybe one more technology. Then I'll build, you know, maybe a half dozen to a dozen more ships with the new technology and then wait for some bigger technologies. I'm also trying to use some ones I, ha I haven't been using. I, I had heard that shields were less important in, in 2.0, um, so I didn't really stress them. I want to see what it's like getting uh, ships with shields. Uh, I think early on it might actually be uh, be good, and then I can phase them out. Um, here's the society research, sort of culture and society. Helena Leboeuf is uh, researching the heritage site, another building which I wouldn't have thought to build early on before, um, 
because of the early push for minerals and um, credits or um, uh, I should say energy. Um, but one of these babies produces four unity. And right now I'm only getting plus two unity. And unity is used for new traditions. And I'll show you when we get to the traditions what that entails. But it's much more important than it seems. It's, and you want to go through entire trees before spreading out to numerous trees. That falls under here. And I'm doing discovery, which is one I think I might have played around with in an earlier game. Um, but indeed, people seem to like, especially the combination of the human-mineral combo with Discovery. Um, and what's great about it is it gives you speed with um, a, a research and anomalies. And anomalies can give you lots of stuff, both pr for present and future, really quickly. Um, and to increase the, um, uh, or I should say decrease the fail chance, um, uh, and so forth, increase the discovery chance, it allows with fewer science vessels to uh, accomplish more early on. Um, and combined with the fact that I, I basically turned up, the only slider I messed with was because from a, from a you know, semi-pro online guy, I suggested this for, for your first game, if you still want to be challenging, but move quicker, was to have technology just kind of, it's not cheaper, it just goes faster, essentially. Um, so it's not like you're getting nuclear arsenals in three years or whatever, or whatever the equivalent is here. So these are the traditions, and I'm going to come back to those. And that's why you need unity, and that's why by putting, I'm going to early on. Um, so it's really funny how Twitch works. On my phone, it's looking pretty slick. Keep in mind, I'm I'm li you know I I'm using a software compression you know, it's so entirely software-based platform from a small MacBook Pro. And it's newer-ish, but it doesn't have tons of processing power. It can run the game great, but to be, you know, streaming this at 1080p with my video feed can work for these video games. Um, I've been able to do, just a quick plug, I'll be doing other PS4 uh, stuff where I don't have a camera at the moment, and it's only 720p, but it looks pretty good. Then it uploads uh, very, very smoothly and nicely for faster games like Horizon, where I did a couple dozen hours online. Um, but overall, yeah, if you're look, watching this on a decent internet connection, it should look pretty okay. Um, I don't think there's anyone in chat right now, uh, but if you do jump in chat and stay on for a little bit, I'll happily name whatever you want, other than the name of the original home planet and star. Um, just out of principle, happy to name anything after you, uh, uh, especially if you have a clever name. Um, so let me just put that out there. Uh, you might notice the aspect ratio is a little off, but that's because, again, I'm using a software um, capture program on my Mac, and Macs, although wide screens, are not exactly 16 by 9. They're more like 16 by 10 um, or so, and, and, and that's what you're seeing in the black there, and I can't I should say I don't want to play with my screen enough uh, just for that little extra space because it, I'm trying to get max resources out of this thing. Um, and it looks pretty good as it is. So I'm using the extra space for my um, uh, window. I'm thinking of moving the whole thing to the right and off-centered a little bit uh, to get more on screen. But right now it's looking okay. I know on iPads it looks a little funky, but on computers, TVs, and phones it should just look like you know, a, uh, a movie that has some black bars on the side. So hopefully that looks okay. And you can at least read what's going on um, on here. So yeah, anyway, so back to the whole spiel. So, right, so there's the home world, Mitra. There's, it's the shipyard um, that, come, that comes with the system. It is already one st step above a star base, which I think is the basic one. So it can build stuff, more stuff than usual. You could add modules to it. Um, trading hub, a civilian docking area where merchants and traders can conduct business. So basically this will give me, if I pay 100 minerals for this now, I get four energy credits per turn. I have heard that building modules onto space stations, again, they're stressing non-colonization versions of, of power expansion in the newer versions. So rather than try and crank one or two off the surface and have to deal with a lot of people, I've actually made this a population one that's not going to need huge populations and tons of colonies to expand. Uh, right now I'm only one out of three of direct colonized systems. I don't want to go past that three point. Um, the starbase capacity I'll probably try and raise first and the naval capacity as well. So let's get... Um, the trading hub is 
it was basically a, a net of four credits without any upkeep. I don't need shipyard capacity increased. Uh, naval capacity plus four I don't need. So right now, trading hub. All right, that cost me most of my money, but that's okay. I'm building stuff elsewhere. I, so this, so this construction ship is uh, building a um, mining station on Triton. I'll just put it back to normal speed while this is going on. You can kind of see the uh, the drones doing the the building, which is really cool, adorable. So many nice small touches in this game. They really knew where not to go crazy also, which I really respect. Now, if you see some of the planets or stars have a green number and some of them are white, if it's green, it means that I am either colonizing it or, or I have a space station there or a research station and I'm actively um, you know, earning. And if it's white, it means that it's available to be earned. Um, and when you jump out to here, and I'm going to read this little thing in a second that just popped up. Here's the solar system. You can see, when I hold the alt button, the, the white numbers up top are ones that I still can um, sort of uh, exploit with research stations, and the green ones are ones that are already being exploited. Okay. Firstly, we have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Vahantris III, or Vajantris? Vajantris? Vajantris. That sounds funny. I'll, I'll do the Spanish way. Vahantris II. What we have learned from these artifacts is correct. The civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different alien races. They called themselves the First League and appeared to have coexisted in relative peace some two million years ago. Though the Vahantra system lies in the region of space that seems to have made up the core of their territory, a partial map found among the artifacts indicates that this First League may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy before its eventual collapse. So, the First League is now going to be a story element. And this is really awesome. And this is part of the random generation that goes on, but that's smart random generation because when I was getting ready to do this playthrough for you guys of, um, a, a little while ago and I had some technical difficulties, I got about this far and then had a sort of semi-crash and decided to, to just exit the program and start over again because I wasn't very far into the stream. Um, and it was around this time that I found new life on this other planet over here um, that I still haven't fully surveyed, but I've surveyed the planet. Um, and this was totally different text. It was basically, we discovered microbes that were living billions of years ago, but didn't show any signs of life. But we're probably going to find some soon. So now we've already discovered a more advanced species than I did in it, basically the exact through play, same playthrough, but with different vari number of variables. And this response was different and interesting. I can't remember what the other one was. But also when you hold your mouse over it, a lot of these scientific discoveries people don't realize here it just tells you uh, the event called beginning the precursors, which is always sort of the base alien and ancient discovery storyline that, that goes on in the background that has different variations. But sometimes you, you get resources straight up just for discovering it. So that's interesting. New sit rep. So new sit rep. So I have a situation log and here's basically where the quest tab is. You get quests that are story quests, you get fetch quests. I mean, it's almost like an RPG element, you know, when you're playing, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn or Zelda or whatever, and you open up your, your quest log, um, and you don't have to do them, especially if I tr you turn the tutorial off, which I did, because I've been through the, the full tutorial, I've been through a partial tutorial, and now I'm going to try and not and use it, I, use it. I think all the learning at this point that I have to do and I can do, hopefully, is just the experience through watching other players, who I'll uh, drop n names of people I'm watching um, for this and other strategy games as we go on, um, and trial and error and so forth. Um, victory, of course, there's three types of victory. In this scenario, you can get f owning 40% of all habitable planets, which is insane. Um, conquering or subjugating all of their empires. Um, I don't know what the difference is between conquering and subjugating. I, I don't think either of them means extermination. Uh, I, I think that they just submit to you. Um, that's probably the fastest way to victory, but also maybe the most difficult. And Federation is having your Federation on 60%. So we do the Star Trek Starfleet model where we, you know, assimilate people <laughs> seemingly willingly into a, a peaceful Federation. Uh, that's what was so great about the Borg, by the way, and the uh, initial, I'm just going to check the sound real quick, in, the, in Star Trek Next Generation was... The Borg just seem like the most evil and scary, one-dimensional but cool bad guys ever. But they're really a dark mirror of the Federation. And if anything, they didn't explore it enough because you just hate them so much because of what they do to Picard and how much he hates them. 
And First Contact's a great movie and a great end to the Borg, if indeed that's an end to the Borg. But the but you will be assimilated, you know, resistance is futile is essentially the, the Starfleet model as well. Um, and so, anyways, a lot of these really cool sci-fi themes are going to come into play uh, in here. I can't wait to see which story elements repeat. I have a feeling they're mostly going to be new story elements. Um, and I can't remember if I mentioned this in my... <laughs> my first try through a couple, a little earlier where my computer semi crashed, um, which is I'm basically going to, when I'm not doing these longer expositional parts or I don't have to read an event, leave it at normal as sort of the base, the uh, slow to normal as a baseline. So it's always moving, but then whenever I'm waiting for anything to happen, I'll move it to fast or faster than fast. So we can move more quickly. Um, win or lose, I'd rather get through this run in less than 20 hours, which is what I averaged on the other two runs and still had tons to do. Um, I've also been using this as a way of experimenting streaming uh, on my Mac. Um, so, uh, so yeah, all right. So I'm going to finish uh, explaining the... Um, sorry, sounds good. Let me just explain the rest of what's going on here, and then we'll, and then we'll get moving. Mm -hmm. uh, the year is 2200. It always starts there. Um, it is August 1st, so I've gone eight months. These pluses up top here, um, that's the amount of money that you get, um, or amount of resources of each of those types that you get per month. So you see 2200.08.01, it's just like sort of the backwards way of writing the date. So, you know, the eighth, uh, sorry, the first of, of August, 2200. Um, and which puts it right in the Star Trek timeline, of course, but w th that's great. Um, and so you have, you know, approximately 30 days per month, just like in our months. Um, and each month, that's is what would be a turn, would be known as a turn in most strategy-based games. This one, of course, has a stop-start mechanic, which is great, because if you're a fan of both real-time and strategy games like me, it's cool to have a little of both, depending on where you are in the game and your mood. So... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit uh, go on the clock in just one sec. I just want to point out to the right here. So this symbol for the military fleet shows that they're just orbiting. It's basically the same as the, the Zs, the sleeping, that the, sci the ISS Pilgrim science ship um, is just asleep right now. And I'll sh show you why, and that's the last thing I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to turn this on. Um, orbiting is just, I don't know, a little bit more of an active, like, you feel like if you're orbiting with your military fleet, maybe you get a little bit of a jump start rather than being caught on the far side of, of, uh, of a star or something if an enemy fleet comes. I'm not sure about that, but we have a huge galaxy to go through. I want to get the second science ship going. I don't have enough credits. I need 200 energy credits to, to man this science ship, as you can see. Sometimes they cost 100. And you get a deal, but you can't right now. I'm humans. I think I also ha had to select some negative traits. Um, yeah, I had to select some negative traits to balance out all of the positives I was, I was giving the, us. And one was leadership lifespan. So our leaders are going to serve one, maybe two terms of, of their oligarchic terms. Um, but I don't really care because I am, it's not that I don't care, but I'm, you know, I, I, when I had longer lived races earlier, why don't I just hit go here? When I had longer lived uh, races, longer lifed races, whatever, races with longer lives, uh, with longer lives, I would uh, sort of put a lot into both construction complete in terms of both gameplay mm -hmm. and just being invested in them, my scientists and my leaders, and then they would still die in seemingly quickly, even if it was like 100 years, 120 years. Um, and so, uh, you know. Oh, here we go. Here's the alien life. And so I'm going to try and just, I, and I always had extra energy credits to buy leaders, but I always end up with extra energy. So we'll see if this ne neglect of energy. Uh, and uh, or just you know taking it for granted because I'm gonna have a ton of it after the early game and just buy new leaders. That strategy works. I'm certainly fine with that. Um, especially because there's only so many slots. I mean, if you count your three tech, you know, slots and maybe max have three or four science ships. That's not a lot of scientists. So it will be hard to get them to high levels. However, making the discovery part hard, I suppose. Um, because if they die, it'll be hard for them to discover some of the more advanced um, forms of anomaly. So hopefully that'll be balanced, balanced out by me being better at, at, at learning that stuff. All right. ISS Nomad, that's my science ship, my first one, has made a startling find on Fahantris 3. The planet is 
teaming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Mitra. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believe we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found as the Huntress or Sapient, it's only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are, we may not be alone out here. And I get a society research gain of 60, which is great. Um, so that's what I was talking about. So I hit this, or I hit this uh, or o earlier last time, and now I've, I have two signs of alien life. Um, which is great, and we get a bonus for it. So I'm just waiting for my uh, energy credits. Oh, here we go. Contact report remnants. The administration of Mitchell received science officer uh, Nanami Okada's report on the alien remnants with some apprehension. The leaving the question now widely considered to be definitive proof unknown forces once having been active in the galaxy, though some prominent Alarian thinkers reject this in favor of identifying the traces as freak geological formations or result of curious natural phenomenon. So there's already some debate about how intelligent this intelligent life is. This is perfect. I wanted to create an Earth future type scenario and this is exactly what w is and will continue to go on. So that's great. I also just felt like, yeah, for I'm going to do this. I can really role play humans a lot better than I can any, any other creature. Th th those will be fun to explore down the line. Plus, I paid for a humans pack just to like get more options and stuff. Uh, so, um, all right. So let's see what else we got. So right now, I still have to wait for my 200 credits. In the meantime, the trading hub is being built. That's going to be four credits a month, which is you know 48 a year. So I'm getting 50 credits a year just from this one expansion. So that's fantastic. Um, I really won't have to worry about credits too much. Now my construction ship um, should continue to reap whatever um, resources are anomaly found available. Okay, anomaly strong energy emissions of unknown origin make this asteroid stand out from the rest of its peer it's a crowded asteroid field. Failure risk 10%, which probably would mean it would be higher. Yeah, so it would have been 20 without my special uh, power. So I am going to research the shit out of this. Um, and uh, wait, I wanted to see where else. Oh, Neptune, there are, there's engineering research credits on Neptune, but I'm already a great engineer and I've got tons of that. So we're gonna lock up our, um, not lock up, but we're gonna ensure a decent flow of monthly energy credits. I can find it. Where are you? Little. Oh, there it is. Mercury. Doop. It's okay. By the time I found it, now I have the money for it. Bada boing. Uh, pretty cool. So you can click on any object in the game and then click Q and then it centers it and then you can circle all around it. Looks gorgeous. Let's say I want to see my ship. Now it's automatically following the ship. I love that little sort of 2D, like Tron-esque track that it's on there. So it's gonna start doing that. Meanwhile, science ship, almost. We're just two or three months away from being able to... Um... Science division reports a new breakthrough. All right, so the star base is done. We're getting tons of energy credits, awesome. Okay, exoskeletons. I didn't get this for army damage, which is way later in the game. Got it for 5% minerals, great. So, new research. Okay, so here's where... Wait, exotic radiation. Oh, okay. So, did, my, did the research succeed? This particular asteroid is an uh, extrasolar capture. Appears to have been washed by some kind of exotic radiation as it plummeted through interstellar space before finally settling in the Thahantra system. I guess that's my system. The original uh, source of this radiation remains unknown, uh, but the ISS Nomad has been able to pick up Wealth of physics data, uh, by or data, by studying the asteroid's energy emissions. Note to self, change name back to soul, soul system. Remarkable. And I get physics research. All right, so I'm just going to pause real quick. Um, because now we're here, we're at this juncture again where it's all spaceship research. So this is actually okay. So I'm going to follow, I'm going to follow spaceship research for as long as I can early on and then get some new, um, uh, new ships and then go in a different direction. Now, the small version of Ceramo metal materials, armor in other words, is 65 hit points. The improved Corvette hulls is a straight 100. Well, that seems like more, especially because most things in the beginning are going to be Corvettes, but I also don't want to 
have that stop being important once I get destroyers and cruisers and stuff. Whereas the metal armor, there's more room for expansion in both, and, and it puts me in type two already. Medium is a plus 160, and a large is a plus 405. Now afterburners is one that I was not able to um, develop earlier. Increases sublight speed and um, evasion. Um, hmm, pretty cheap. Only had four. What do these add? This at 13. Afterburners are cool, especially because those are going to be harder to upgrade in the future, and I haven't tried those yet, so let me do afterburners. Okay. Second. Oh no, the Vahantra system is this system. So you're going, we still haven't seen everything? Well, if you click on the science ship, you can see. So here's Vahantra's 3. It's a wet climate. Has low habitability for our people who like you know, dry, cold, mountainous region. That's like the opposite of that. Um, I can build a research station there though and get some good stuff. I don't have to uh, settle it right away. Let me turn on the speed. Game speed. Um, not a whole lot going on in this system. All right, so I want to get ready for this science ship I was about to be able to afford a science leader in one turn. By the way, this is auto-saving, I think, every other... Yeah, every every six months it's saving, but that's okay. It's funny, as a kid, you know, auto-save in the 90s wasn't a thing. Sometimes you could only save at certain points, even in strategy games, and so it's like, you become this compulsive saver. But then I don't even play video games for years, I come back and play Zero Dawn, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, and there's only five manual save slots because you just quick save out of fire, and you rarely ever need to go way, way, way back. There was one case late in Horizon Zero Dawn where I decided to leave the final dungeon of the final DLC in, in order to complete some other stuff first, and I'm glad I had to save from like three hours earlier than that. Um, but for the most part, you just use quick save. And here too, you know, like the whole point of these runs is to make mistakes. If I was trying to do like an Iron Man run or something, uh, or no, that means you can't save at all. But you know, if I was, um, if there was a big juncture where I made a decision after I played a lot of games here, then I would think of sort of making a start save and going back there if I wanted to, but fuck it. All right, here we go. Scientists, research speed, computing, research speed, particles, Anomaly discovery chance. Well, this is for a um, survey ship, so I'm gonna go with Hua Liang in my Afro Asiatic Empire. And she, my dear, is gonna, gonna go, and I wanna show you my grand plan here. Uh oh. Encounter. We've encountered some sort of alien vessels in the Fahantra system. It's like there's the beta menace. So we can learn more about them. Oi. We've already bumped into bad guys? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, they're crystalline beings? Hmm. How strong are they? 532? That's pretty strong. Well, so much for that. Taking evasive action. Oh, great. So I'm already taking evasive action. So this changes my entire game plan. I was hoping to make it all the way up to here and make that a choke point, but now I'm going to have to move as quickly as possible on... Um... I'm going to have to move as quickly as possible here and, um, to what I'm going to call my east. Um, if you know, if we look north, south, east, west, um, and hope that I have some room to expand to my west, or I'm really in a shit ton of hurt. So I need to be expanding immediately. So as soon as this construction ship finishes building the mining station, he's got to go out here. Um, and I'm going to have to start getting new star bases faster than I wanted to. Um, on the other hand, taking evasive action. Yep, taking evasive action. I got it. Oh, here's the traditions. All right, discovery. Survey speed increased by 35% and ship combat evasion increased by plus 30. Oh my god, that is exactly what I need right now. That's literally what I need right this second. Yes, please. Thank god. 
Okay, so hopefully I can get some more science ships not destroyed. I'm gonna build myself, turn time back on like I promised I would. Um, I am going to build myself a new construction ship as soon as possible because we need to um, we need to just be getting some star bases in case I get really bottled in here. I could get super bottled in. Let's see, how's my ship? Science division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, so my science ship looks like it's going to be okay in terms of... No, go here. Taking evasive action. It's not going to let me do it. Fuck. Alright, so go down here. Taking <sighs> evasive action. I got it, I got it. Okay, new research. Heritage site. Okay, I'm going to pause here. So the heritage site is going to give me extra uh, unity. I'm currently at a plus two. I'm gonna tr triple that to a plus six once I build this thing. And that's gonna allow me to get more traditions. And that'll let me, you need to figure out ways to advance internally if you're stuck on the outside because of resources or here appearing to be boxed in. Potentially, it might just be a bad coincidence that there was random aliens on my doorstep. Um, from a story narrative standpoint, you'd think that this would lead us to be incredibly paranoid, and in fact, it is going to force me to build up my military fleet faster than I would like. It might be time to actually roll out a new ship immediately um, once I get the construction ship. Okay, monthly unity plus two. Now this would get unity even more insane. Now, ooh, unlock star. Off-world trading company. Trading, trading hubs get a plus two. So I get more, yeah, defense army damage is not um, important. Why don't we double down on unity traditions and try and advance internally as quickly as possible? And along those lines, and again guys, once we get into the, you know, the real meat of all this, we can, uh, I want to look at it. There we go. It's so pretty. That's the other thing. It's just so pretty. You just want to look at everything when you're playing with it. Um, so, okay. Um, so right now, I'm only producing one unity right here. But, one food. That doesn't really do anything for me. So I'm going to build, once I can afford it. Can I afford it? Oh, shoot, I already have the memorial. That's going to be a plus two. Oh, do I upgrade that? Is that is that an upgrade to... Oh, interesting. Huh. Wait a minute. Mining. There's a mining network. There's a planetary administration. Oh, maybe I, it's an upgrade to the monument? All right, well, I definitely want the monument, but let me look at the other technology real quick. Let me look at the other technology. Researched. Heritage site. Planet unique. It doesn't say... I don't think there's a really good te uh, tech tree in this game, actually, now that I just realized it. It's, it's just a big list. I'm still not clear about why I can't build the heritage site. Unless... <laughs> Is this a spaceport thing? No. Alright, well, I'll build the early version. It's cheaper, anyways. I don't have money, so I don't one. Yep. So, let's get that, let's that going. And we'll see if we can upgrade that later. Construction complete. Alright, what's well, complete? Ah, uh, the mining station. Okay. Alright, so here's what's going to happen right now. This guy is immediately going to go this way. Or wait. Yeah, so he's gonna follow the pilgrim. 
into the next system, which is the science ship. Because we want... Okay, so the jump from the science ship seems to work. Uh, construction ship. Okay, I'm moving the construction ship there, even though I haven't even explored it yet, because I need to expand. If I get trapped here, this would be hugely problematic. Alright, so in the meantime, let's open the fleet manager. Uh, let's add a ship design to the fleet. That's the auto best. Does this have... Interesting. Create new. What? Hold on. I don't know what to do. I've never been on this screen before. I don't know what is going on. Stop. No, I don't want any of this stuff. Home base, home base. I don't know what these templates are. This isn't where I meant to go. Anyways, ship designer is what I meant to do. Here we go. So we get a Corvette. And a missile boat. It's going to be more expensive. Uh, let's do an interceptor first. So interceptors, reactor booster. It's gonna have science division deflectors. reports a new breakthrough. A lot of more deflectors. I want these to be cheaper. And let's see how much this cost. All right, let's pause this game for a sec. These cost 10, mass drivers cost also 10. What happened to afterburners? Oh, I don't think I've researched the afterburners yet. You know what? I'm clear design, clear it. I'm gonna do a missile boat version of all this. You know what? I'm gonna wait for the afterburners to come online before I make any new ship designs. Um, but what's going to be upgraded is the question. So if I look at research. All right, physics, here it is. Okay, so I want to get the better lasers. All these, these energy things I don't need. Blue lasers is, will definitely be the thing to put on once the afterburn. So 14 months, 14 months. So in just over a year, I'll have afterburners, upgraded lasers, upgraded shields. Um, and that's all, and maybe even some upgraded armor or, or whatever. I'll also be get moving through my planetary unity stuff. All right, so. First of all, I need to assign a leader. I can't afford an admiral. Oh, I can. There's the guy at half price. That's literally his special power. Great. You're my admiral. Sweet. Um, see, that took energy, and now I have more credits. Um, so really quickly, why? Why are my military fleet here? Hmm? Oh, it's following the, oh, it's following the science ship. Okay, that's not the worst thing ever. Um, all right, so these are all Corvettes. Corvettes, Corvettes, Corvettes. And really quickly, I'm just going to build another Corvette. So can I get a Corvette that um, should let me go to the fleet manager right from here, but that's fine. The F, no, the F things don't work on Max very well. Was it F10? Let's see if I can do anything. Yeah, it's just going to mute my computer. I have to shift it. There it is. All right, so I've heard missiles are actually pretty good. So we're going to make a missile boat model. This is going to now I'll be able to upgrade the lasers, I think. Um, hmm. 
We're going to be upgrading the lasers, so we're going to put one mass driver, which is good, good against shield, but not armor. And then missiles, which is great against shields and hull. Oh, so where's my armor damage is the question. Missiles. Oh, plus 100 shield penetration and then hull damage. So shields, right, shields don't block them. Great. And then I'm not going to put a reactor booster. For five, it generates power. Yeah, sure. For five. Come on. So this one's already costing 130 without any... I'm going to put improved deflectors on. 137. And armor. And armor. Costs 157. Not the worst thing in the world. The vampire class Corvette? Hmm. That's uh, a horrible name. Oh, the chemical thrusters are probably the things that turn into the afterburners. I'm going to set it to auto upgrade. And, uh, takes 60 turns to build. So that's the vampire class. And now, um, so much for leaving it unpaused, right? You know, I'm going to do what I normally do. It's either going to be pause or moving fast. On normal speed, it's just, it's too slow for anything to happen as fast as I want and too fast for me to concentrate. So that's just how I'm going to play it. I'm going to play this hybrid, which is how it was built. So that's how I'm going to play it. Um, all right, so one, really quickly. Um, I saved already. Clear design. Okay. Um, new design. Uh, I'm going to make the interceptor. That has a base of 95. Now I'm going to see what it costs to put on one red laser. Oh, the laser goes through the sh shields or just doesn't do shield damage. So what does it cost to have one laser, one mass driver? Hmm. Now I'm already up to 125. What if I just put shields and get down to 112? It's almost not even worth it for just a single laser. Look what the damage is doing. 2.2? That's pathetic. Alright, what does it cost to put one other laser? So two two lasers in a shield for 122. We'll call this a stalker. It's still gonna cost me 60 turns though, so. That makes no sense. What does their auto one look like? It's 152. Yeah, this is right. This is totally fine. It doesn't need the extra power reactor. The Scorcher class. Yeah. Well, in this in this case, in this case, they are definitely right. The Scorcher is the one. Doesn't sound very intimidating. All right, so just for the hell of it, let's, let's get time moving here. Then on fast. Sorry about that, guys. Construction complete. All right. Mitra has finished its construction queue. We're gonna go check that out. That is the monument we built. Now, is this? Yeah, this is. It is an upgrade to it. Heritage site. Okay. All right. I thought so. Alright, where do I not need resources right now? I always need minerals. I do need energy early in the game. This guy who's researching stuff? Eh, I think I could spare it for the Unity right now. But, 
I also could wait for this pop to pop. And... Which is going to take some time. Encounter in Dearborn. We've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Dearborn system. Uh, by the way, guys, the uh, my eyes aren't as great as they used to be. I don't have a giant screen, and although my retina screen is beautiful, I have very high res, the combination of the, the size of the font and the, the color and the type is sort of hard to read. So I am... Um, I apologize if I stumble occasionally. Uh, here's what it says. We've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Dearborn system. These strange objects have been flagged as Gamma Menace. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. Oh, God. So we might be really, really, really screwed, guys. If we're getting trapped in here, big time. Yep. I might have to regenerate. I hate to say it. Now, they're showing yellow, which isn't necessarily mm -hmm. hostile, but if I cannot expand this way... If I can't expand west, essentially, then I'm kind of screwed. So, although again, these alien vessels I can beat with some, with some work. So I'm actually going to... You know what? I'm going to stick to my plan here until this guy attacks me because he's showing yellow with a question mark and I need the possibility that I can have some expansion to the east. Sorry, let me start time here again. Anomaly found. All right. Impressive structures litter a small area on the surface of Bernard Star 3, practically begging for archaeological work, has 30% risk. Due to the scientist skill level being lower than the anomaly level, we get an increased risk of 20%. Hmm. I'm going to leave it be for now. That's too high of a risk this early on. I need to keep moving. Can I change scientists? No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So there's the anomaly. Um... I need the survey of this system to complete. I'm already showing two habitable planets, though. This is a way, way, way different than uh, different beginning than my other games. Tons of planets, tons of contact. Look how much galaxy there is here, guys. It's un unbelievable. I picked a gray color, though. I'm feeling it. Uh oh. All right. Well, whoever these yellow people are are coming after us already. So I'm going to have to do what I haven't done in any other game yet, which is get defenses going on my star base ASAP, because I can't risk my one and only system. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Oh, there's space whales. Okay. Recon pass completed. Oh, I think the space whales are cool. Recon pass Look at completed. Them. Oh, they're cool. Okay. Halt. Oh. Alright, well, just in case the space whales mean us harm, I'm going to keep some... some military support and system, and I am going to build a defense platform, which I really don't want to do, but I'm going to do. Because right now it's better than having ships. All right, so I'm gonna pause it real quick. Okay, engineering research, okay, engineering facility, uh, produces research, basic strike craft. Okay, that'll help improve my fleet. Hangar bay, oh, robot, yep, that's it. That's what you need, increased, yep, habitability, increased minerals. I haven't gotten in my other games. Lead us further down the field of robotics. Hell yeah. I like this other one, but I gotta do robots while I have it here. Alright, what's this? Surveyed, surveyed. Alright, okay. So what's going on with my my science ship? 
Alright, so I'm gonna go around these bad guys here and hope that it's not that bad of a thing. I'm gonna survey this way. Because I wouldn't mind, you know, having my empire against the edge of the galaxy, actually. I mean, you don't want to get cornered in too much. Let's go up to here and see how that goes. That'll take a while. All right. Have I explored this enough to, to do my... I can't afford it yet, but I will, ultimately. Let's investigate the space whales. We got the 60 uh, society research to do it. Okay, we're going to research all this. Alright, more traditions. Here we go. So, research alternatives increase by one, which is great. More choices. Or, gain research points equal to a tenth of our monthly gain when surveying planets. So, that's probably good early on while we're scanning. Yep, that's it. That's the one. Awesome. Alright, let's do a quick save diddly do. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna take a picture of myself. Because, you know, that's what you do on a Saturday night when you're streaming Stellaris. Post this to the books of faces. Join me at my live stream now as the Bizzle conquers the galaxy www.twitch.tv slash the bizzle is it just the bizzle or the bizzle 81 i can never remember i can't believe i got the bizzle i guess there it is Thumbnail, can I then add a picture? Only if I remove that. Is that right? Twitch.tv slash the bizzle? What the hell? Yeah, that's it. I should probably add that I'm playing Stellaris. Conquer the galaxy in Stellaris 2.0! Oh, exclamation point! There we go! Let's see if that worked, folks.
I can probably hashtag this baby and uh Twitch. Wow, stop drug abuse. Uh twit <laughs> Twitch feed is following me. Um hmm. Okay, I hope I don't let you guys down. I really hope I don't let you guys down. What happens if I click it inside? Sorry, I'm, uh, does that work? Yep, takes me right to Twitch. Beautiful. All right, let's go back to Twitch on my phone. Keep that on the side there. Make sure the sound on feels okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so we are about two and a half of ga uh, game years in. I haven't expanded at all. I'm about to build in a few months uh, at Bernard's Star. I'm discovering hella planets, like tons of planets. The increased tech of research speed is great. And I, my early concerns about being surrounded by enemies is, doesn't seem to be necessarily the case. And once I get my re research done, it'll be even uh, more of a relief. Um, mm. I am definitely going to get a n four to eight systems, including these two choke points right here. I basically want to get this in here. And once I do that, then I'm going to develop as many research bases as possible. And get all the resources available to me without having to put any boots on the ground with colonies until I absolutely have to. Um, I don't think I put slow... <laughs> Did I put slow growth as one of my things? No. Yeah. Look at my awesome symbol, by the way, guys. I designed that, ish. I designed that. Oh, Shadow Council's cool. I can't wait to use that. Shadow Council. Unbeknownst to its citizens, this is like a, a base stat you start with. Unbeknownst to his citizens, this society is actively manipulated from behind the scenes by a secretive shadow council. Appearances must be kept, but the tyranny of the majority should also be guarded against. After all, what if the fools vote for the wrong candidate? This is living out, uh, along with the oligarchy, uh, sort of uh, an alternate world fantasy I have about what if we could have the philosopher king's rule over all the idiots out there who couldn't vote for Donald Trump. Probably would end badly, um, but it's fun to play out here. Uh, there's an election every 20 years, I think, in my system. So um, Miss Jandra still has some time here. But if I basically only have to pay a quarter of what normally it would cost to influence. And I've never been able to influence before because I've never had the um, requisite influence or unity at the time to do so. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be super fun to be able to push elections, especially because I've fewer elections, but the lifespans of the leaders are also shorter, so it kind of makes up for complete. it. Alright. Starbase. Okay, well, I've got the defense platform now, so the shipyard should be pretty powerful on its own in the meantime. I really want to get that second Starbase done. Completed. Let's see. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Who got... Okay, so she's level two. So, if she's level two... Uh, but she has no anomalies in her area. All the anomalies are here. Doesn't help this scientist yet. But hopefully Hua Lang will hit level two soon. So we can research this level two anomaly. I'm doing other research as well. I'm trying to do a ton of research. I want the game to move uh, more quickly because I keep forgetting to unpause it. So, all right. So, Strike Force Chandra is probably okay just staying at home for now. Let us go back to Bernard Star. Now, you can do most of this Anomaly found. from from uh, the the galactic map, the galaxy map. You don't have to keep going to the system, but I'm just such a visual tactile person. Uh, okay, so she's a level one. Scientist, but it's a level one anomaly. Only 10% chance of failure. Down from what would be 20. Definitely going to research that. See what she finds. 
not a ton of minerals in these systems, but this one right here, this unsurveyed uh, system with the bad guys, has a lot of minerals. So we're going to definitely go after them at some point. They're at only a 532 rating, which means that our home system has nothing to worry about, but our, I do need to build up the fleet. Speaking of building up the fleet, first thing I need to do is... Taking not, evasive action. Uh-oh, more evasive actions. All right, well, first of all, we are going to build a star, a star base. That's the first thing that's going to happen. The second thing is, where is the base of actions happening? Oh, here's more bad guys. Oh, here's more of the alien vessels, Beta Menace. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I, I am going to be blocked a little bit here, but I'm still not giving up hope. Wait, hold on. Okay. Okay, you're going to go here. And then you're gonna go here. And then we'll see if you can get here. We'll take it one step at a time. But now it's looking like I'm gonna have to go this way. And Alpha Centauri with a, another potentially habitable planet. By the way, the two planets on Bernard Star. Bernard Star 2 is 20% habitability, 60% on the cold world, actually that is not bad at all. Has a lot of space that need to be terraformed in wild animals, so that's that's not anything coming soon. Uh, okay, anomaly, surveyed, enemies, blah blah blah. Taking okay. evasive action. Yep, I know. Special project complete. Oh, great. The spaceborne life forms, which the Alarian head of society research has come to refer to as the Tianki, are docile creatures capable of accessing some lower dimensions of subspace. They grow from system to system with remarkable ease. They graze on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. It is highly unlikely to say the least that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will rarely, if ever, attack. Even when provoked, they can safely be ignored. So we've opened up a new tech tree uh, um, branch called frequency tuning. I don't know what that does. So they're mean but they're not that bad i have to avoid them um the science ships are running away i don't know if the construction ships would Asteroid collision. A large mule rich asteroid collided with Alpha Centauri 4 at some point during the previous thousand years. That's pretty recent. What must have been a major impact event. An abundance of minerals can now be found on the planet in the vicinity of the impact crater. Okay. This is awesome. And I'm going to show you why. Because before, it didn't look like there was necessarily a lot going on in this system. But now... There's at least three minerals here, and probably going to be more. So this could be, a, this will be the definitely the next system to build a, uh, a shipyard. Ooh, upgrade the fleet. Sweet. Ships refitted. There you go. Construction complete. Construction complete. Here we go. Now, now you can see my energy credits keep building up. I, I don't. I literally can't use them fast enough. Like everything else, other than minerals. That's what I need. I need minerals, minerals, minerals. But I also want to keep taking down some new systems first. We're gonna come back to here eventually. Get some of these other resources. We're gonna take care of this anomaly. Um, but in the meantime definitely going to have this construction ship 
go to Alpha Centauri. To here. Hasn't been fully surveyed yet, but let's put it in position to build a star base. Now, once I get to these two choke points, people, I'm going to start feeling a lot better because then at least I can't be completely held in. If I lose these choke points along with this guy here, and God knows what's going on over here, uh, this will be interesting with the... Who leveled up? Science Division reports a new breakthrough. All right. All right. Blue laser, sweet. Okay, so we're going to have the, these guys upgrade again. He's going to upgrade the blue lasers. I think is the upgrade from uh, red lasers. New research. Sentinel point defense? What is this? Hollow mounted countermeasure against missiles and strike craft for larger and slower military vessels. Interesting. Fusion reactor. Interesting. Lead to, to new advancements. Um, I like the idea of new advancements. Uh, the Sentinel Point defense would be dope. But for now, let's do the fusion reactor before we start, we start building a fleet. Yeah, let's get some fleet technologies earlier, early, and then get a decent sized fleet. Um, and then we don't have to worry so much about it. So just to, I just want to check. So these guys are getting upgraded. Let's see what the upgrades look like. Ships refitted. Yep, blue lasers. There it Recon is. Recon pass Boom. completed. Let's see. Entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new, horrifying life forms. Quickly named the Space Amoeba, following an analyst's gross misreading of initial sensor output, the creature is in fact larger than the average Alarian Corvette. There would be little harm in putting, putting one of these monstrosities out of its misery for science. <laughs> Let's see. Issue a special project for remote space amoeba study or... We expect our fleets to make short work of the creature. No, I don't feel that way about our fleets at all. New sit rep. <sighs> what was being built at the Soul Star Base? That's still the defensive platform? Ah, uh, yeah, here's robotics. These robotic work units are perfect for menial labor tasks. They are hardworking, capable of following simple vocal instructions, but should not be expected to climb stairs. Uh, this game. Love it. All right, so I can immediately get more Corvette points, and at least early on have a big fleet of Corvettes with hull points. What do they have now? Now they have... 300, so essentially be adding 25% more halt points. That would be kind of great, actually, early on. I mean, because basically, for every three Corvettes, I'm getting one for free in terms of hit points. Um, yeah, mining network too. I just I don't see that needing that right now. Robotic modification. Okay. Mechanical beings of orders might be more complex than first. Mechanical pop templates? See, I don't know what mechanical pop robo modding is. I don't really. So I basically just get workers without needing real humans. That's great. Um, I don't have tons of. I mean, this planet is almost full. Speaking of having all this energy, why don't I clear the sprawling sums, open up some more minerals. So I'm going to hold off on the robotics for now because I don't have a lot of place to put them. Unless I'm misreading what this, this all is. Go for the easy hit points. Anomaly found. Another anomaly. Uh, only 10% failure. Research. Why don't we prepare to build another Corvette? Um, no point in 
building non-corvettes, although we can build a missile boat, bi missile boat, which is a type of corvette. Lasers plus minus 50 shield plus 50 armor. Mass driver plus 50 shield minus 50 armor. Nuclear missiles ignores shield completely. So yeah, why don't we try a missile boat with type two? Let's put a blue laser in there instead. And Ooh, afterburners. How expensive is that going to be? Four? Interesting. Evasion. Reactor puts power. Plus eight. If I put this, I've got 28? I've only got eight power with that otherwise? Do I, do I need it as a question? Minus two power, that's no good. Yeah, afterburners wasn't was definitely not the um not for this build in any in any case. Shields power usage twenty. Right, so shields do suck power. So with this I'm gonna I'm gonna want the reactor booster for sure. So I'm gonna save this. Yep and start the clock, and in one or two months I'll be able to build one of these babies. What do, I, what do my other ones have? Do they have a reactor? No, they don't have a, they don't have a reactor. Hmm. So how did they, where's their power from? Nope, nope. Failure. Eh, it happens. Oh, the fission reactor generates power. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. So wait, let me just check one thing if I start designing other ships. So the ones I've been designing are Scorcher class. Okay, let me take a look at Scorcher class. Right, it doesn't need a lot more than, it just needs positive power. So my vampire actually can, does not need this. Because it'll still be plus eight and it'll be cheaper. If I put afterburners, it's minus two, you don't want that. But it doesn't need the reactor booster because it is getting power from the fission reactor, which I'm about to upgrade, actually, I think. So, yeah, so the vampire is good enough for now. Alright, let's get one of those babies going. Scientist has leveled up. The space whales keep floating away. That is great. Uh, I don't have enough money again to Science build division report success. What I need. All right, unity going up plus two. This is great. And I'm gonna upgrade that that other site as well. All right, neural. Okay, so we can go down the slave path here. I know slave soldiers who serve their masters. I, I don't have a problem doing this in the game, even though I obviously hate hate to get slavery in real life. Mineral production goes up. Food production goes up, but it can have other repercussions. I don't want to grow faster. Biolab, energy siphon, weapons draining energy from enemy ships. Oh, that's right. I once had a f some ships with these, but then let's see. The energy siphon has is more again more shield damage, not armor damage. Um, 
This is clearly what they want me to research. I will always, I think it's just saying that I'll always be there. Genome mapping will take us somewhere else. Growth 10%. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I don't want to grow that fast, but hell. Construction complete. There we go. Got a new ship. New survey and new tradition. Science division. Research is increased by one. Yes, sir. All right. So what am I? What are my? Uh, Go to the expansion planner here, and you can go which ones are colonizable. There's the, that one Bernard Star that looks like it needs some major work before I can colonize it. Um, Navel Centauri 3. Oh, that's where I'm living. Duh. Taking evasive action. Oh, God. We encountered some form of alien vessels as the Thuewe system. These strange objects have been flagged as Delta Menace. All right. We are really... Man, we are not. We're, we're landing on hard times here with our empire. We got nowhere to go. We're gonna have to start taking down motherfuckers, even though I really don't want to. They are extremely, extremely powerful. I don't know if my, I think my, my space, my uh, survey ship's gonna be fine getting away, but we're gonna have to go somewhere. I guess we're gonna go this way. Recon pass completed. All right, the Ejok system, not to be confused with the Ewok system. Um, all right, construction ship. Get ready to build an outpost. Three, two. There we go. At least I can get three systems. The love of God. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to take this one too. Well, Soul Station can defend itself for now. So I'm going to send the, the strike force out to the other side. Because Soul Station is somewhat buffer, buffeted by... Uh, Taking evasive oh, action. Oh god damn it. The space amoeba. This thing is all over the place. Alright. So, science ship. Can't go anymore. So, Sol is really going to be on the frontier forever, basically. So, Jesus Christ. So, I'm going to have this guy go this way. Because this guy's going to. Is this surveyed? Where's he going? He's gonna survey here. He's gonna survey here. Here. And here. And that's where the other ship's gonna go. And we're just gonna have to, yeah, hope. Don't get invaded, I guess. Not enough resources out over here to, uh, Guarantee protection of myself. I mean, Sol is at a nice little bottleneck. Assuming I can deal with this alien menace up here. Wow, I really got screwed. This is going to be really interesting because if I can't get up here, I'll be totally trapped. Construction and complete. Hopeful, hope that I can build. All right, so construction ship. Construction ship's gonna go build mining station as soon as I can, and then keep on moving. Look at that! Look at that pretty thing! All right, build mining station. Boom! You can see the the echo or the shadow of it, which is great. All right, so we are almost five years in. Now what? Up oh, more traditions. This is great. I knew this was gonna pay off. 
This is happening much faster. All right, leader experience gain increased by 25%, as long as they're alive and our leaders help make up for the lack of life, length of life, I should say, lack of length of life. All right. Science division report success. Hold on, what do we have here? Multiple science, fusion power, and okay. Uh, Corvette hull points plus 20, great, or plus 100, great. Uh, fusion reactor, that's gonna be an auto upgrade, great. Okay, assist research. Okay, so this basically is gonna speed up all of our research, research, planet modifier. Wait, it allows our scientists to assist with the research on a colony. Assist research plan. Interesting. Hmm. Reactor booster. Interesting. Why it's telling me to do this. Global energy management can increase energy, which I already have tons of. I told you guys it was going to happen, so I'm not worried about that. Assist research is very cool, but at the moment, I still need to get better ships, because I might need to start building ships sooner rather than later. All right, better armor, basic strike craft, man space craft for launch from a mothership, rely on small size, coil gun, what does it do? It's also shield damage instead of armor damage. I don't really... So does it upgrade for mass drivers? Oh, here's fusion missiles. Missiles are all about hull damage, which I like. A coil gun leads to further technology. Carrier operations. Oh, this is all really tempting. Which is the fastest? They're all pretty fast. Um, let's do missiles first, because it does something the other ones don't do, which is shield penetration. And I can start building more missile boats immediately and upgrade them. Yeah, the one thing with the, the game civilization is I'm so into the historical aspect of it, it distracts me from the, the pure strategy side of things. All right, so as soon as we can. Let's see, who has Construction the complete. Science division report success. So the vampire does the most damage and has the, the missiles. So that's where we're gonna go. All right, mining station is done. Growth speed plus 10, awesome. All right, here we go. Off-world trading company. That makes my trading hubs have more, get more power out of them, which will be nice, but again, I'm not desperate for it. Uh, Empire leader capacity, leader pool size. Ooh, that's tempting. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so I need to colonize here immediately. So I'm gonna move my guys there as well. Mineral growth slowly climbing here. Let's get a couple more missile boats built that we will then upgrade when the new missile technology happens. System reconnaissance completed. Cool. All right, so the stalker class only does 5.87 damage, costs less, but you're gonna spend as many turns doing it anyway, so why not wait one more turn to pay? Essentially, for better technology. Doesn't make sense. Turn it in half. Get vampire class going. Alright, there we go. That's it we got here. Construction ship. Alright. Okay. 
Got to save up to build a star base. So I'm going to have to upgrade the fleet anyways. So it looks like that's going to be okay for now. So. Construction complete. There's the ship. Anomaly found. Let's see. 0% chance of failure with my special modifier. Obviously, I'm going to research with 0% chance of failure. So again, I want to be getting more mining going on right now, essentially. Let's go get more mining on, as, they, as the kids say. I should have at least looked down here. Maybe there's something fun at the edge of the galaxy. Uh, with another tradition. We're almost on discovery. Okay, so. Faith in science. The public has come to regard science as something almost akin to religion. Their faith in it is absolute. There is no question in this universe so big that it cannot be answered by science. There is no question that can't be answered by science. So, now assist research, which I will learn so shortly. Now produces one unity. Uh, research upload manipulation, increase the effect. Okay. So, just more unity. Unity all around. So, unity is spent here, and now we're spent unity on getting more unity. <laughs> Now I get an ascension perk. Do I pick one now? But yeah, so when you finish these trees, you get what they call an ascension perk. Interstellar domination. Let's see, starbase influence cost is less. Ten, research speed plus 10%. Monthly unity plus 10. Governing ethics attraction plus 50. Governing ethics attraction. I think that's cool. Mastery of nature. Clear blocker cost. Yeah, I'll have plenty of energy credits. Feel prerogative, core sex systems 5, nope. Edict duration 100%. Shared destiny. Subject integration. Influence cost. So we're not in that part of the empire. So I'm gonna say. Should I just keep doubling down on research speed? It's already moving so fast. That or a monthly unity one? Yeah, fuck it, let's do more technology. I want to see the whole tree. Sapient species found. One species native to Sirius 3 has, according to the ISS Pilgrim orbiting the planet, achieved a tentative mastery of that planet. Science officer Hua Liang proposed that we should monitor their development closely, maybe even help them along if possible. Okay. Not a huge Science priority. division report success. Fusion missiles. Alright, here we go. Space to space missiles. Alright, now. Corvette building speed plus 25. Uh, okay, there's the robot stuff again. Robo modding. No, don't need that. Mining network two produces more minerals. That seems to be a smarter bet right now. Here's another planet. It is very habitable. Ooh. Oh, with tons of minerals. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's what we're colonizing. By the time I get down there, we make enough money. Time to build a starbase there, there, and then here. Oh, we found a wormhole. We detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon in the edge of the Satopi system. A rift in the very fabric of space-time has formed here, creating a wormhole that our scientists speculate may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. 
depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow other ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in a matter of days. Unfortunately, uh, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through it would be ripped apart in seconds. Well, I've never gotten far enough in my other tech trees to stabilize wormholes, but I think this time I will. Oh, my science ships caught up to one another. Yeah, getting that science, science ship speed and evasion was really key. Really, really, really key. System reconnaissance completed. All right, well done. So yeah, so that's it. We're gonna save up money for a Ships colony. refitted. Let's combine these fleets here. Let's upgrade everything. Ships refitted. To a 265. Not bad. Still needs more ships though. Construction complete. Alright, there's a star base. And I'm gonna start mining here as soon as I can. Look at that. So pretty. So there's a way to uh, turn off all the screen noise, but it's like three different keys. Science division so reports no a new breakthrough. New breakthrough. Okay. All right, we're gonna mine that and oh, cool. All right, so I have more layers to choose from and more to hold on to, which will be key down the road. Okay, energy saving slave army. So I really want to get minerals. The slave army is the way to go. Um, but I'm not thinking of invading anyone anytime soon. Slave processing facility. Right. Um, I'm gonna need more fun food soon. Um, and this does give me a nice edict, actually, when I have tons of influence to increase food output. So, I can stock up on food whenever this is ready. So let's do that in preparation for my colony base. Yeah, after a few times through the early uh, the early play, it gets a little bit more intuitive. Uh, I was gonna go to the beer store. It's past midnight. I could still go, but I don't feel like it. Oh well. Got my grandfather's funeral tomorrow. Really sad. Lived a long life. <laughs> a lot longer than these assholes that I've Science been. Division reports a new breakthrough. Yeah. Research. Okay, reactor booster. Recon pass completed. Okay. First things first. I know I can upgrade my ships. Maybe not. Alright. Physics research. Uh, mineral capacity mining network 2, right? Okay. So. Physics research, physics labs, survey speed, auto exploration, that's dope. Kind of curious about P. I don't know how many ships that have P on it, I don't think yet. So, let's see here. Let's do survey speed. And. Below refinery, upkeep two for five. Oh hell yeah! Antimatter missiles. Fuck. Construction complete. I definitely want to get those, but I also want to nebula refinery. Although I'm about to get a bunch of. Mining, uh, oh, shit. Well, let's upgrade the armor first. Take it one thing at a time. All right, so the science ship did good. We made it all the way. So now we're gonna explore. Anomaly found. Here. Uh, let's see, significant scarring on the surface and a pattern that cannot be natural. Massive rifts look almost like writing. 
failure risk. Only 5%? Yep, we're doing it. So this is all in the nebula here, which is part of why there's a lot of minerals. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go here, here, go this way, then here, then here. There's gonna be tons of minerals here. Then there, then here. This guy is gonna go here, and then here, and then stop, and we'll see what happens at that point. Alright, so time to get some energy credits going on. So, let's see what's going on in my, my home world here. I'm gonna have to do a colony ship pretty soon. Wow, seven. Mining network one, can I upgrade this? Mining network two? Hell yeah. Alright, so that's that. I've got tons of energy credits. So, why don't I open this? So I can do get some more. And then, this guy's gonna come here. And we'll start like that. Um, in the meantime... Auto best is all blue lasers with dual shields, essentially. And this will be upgraded because of the armor. Plus 163. Power plus 9 damage, pretty good. Interceptor? Yeah, sure. The Cavalier? Okay. I'll go get me one of those. Uh, although I do know. Uh, let's see. Ship designer, the vampire. See the vampire. Uh, these missiles are gonna get upgraded pretty shortly, I believe. But we're not, we're not there yet. All right. Habitable world survey. We now know without a doubt that the thriving biosphere is not something unique to Mitra, but the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter have already are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus on our planetary survey efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. Commendable. We have more important vote. What, just for 20 influence? Habitable world survey event? Yes. It's not worth turning down for 20 influence. Alright, leader is now level 3. She's probably going to die soon, but that's fine. Let's see, there is a... Gonna research that thing. Uh, let's see. What else do we got going on here? Construction ship. Get a star base going here. And once I get a little bit more flow of energy and minerals. I can then really consolidate in this area here, hopefully. Now where the wormhole is, there are some more good minerals. Anomaly found. Uh, Science division report success. Let's see. Optical sensors isolate a cluster of shapes on the barren surface. 30% failure? Eh, leave B for now. Alright, so we've got hydro... Uh, Edicts, right? So we can increase. So we're gonna basically we're gonna save our influence and use one of our edicts to force an uh, eleven-year-long food output of plus twenty percent. We can stock up on food. We can change our food policy to stockpiling food um, for our new colonists, which would be great because we're gonna enter into the negative at, the, at some point coming up for sure. So 
So if I can, if I can unlock Starbase Building, Off World Trading Company, Trading Hubs plus two, then I can really utilize my expansion to help with energy and not have to worry about it on the surface. So that is what I'm going to do. I do wish you could sort of set up auto queues. Like, you know, say, look, once I have the money, get me a few of these, and that would be priority one. Science division report success. Uh, the cost of ships keeps going up because I keep getting new good shit. That's okay. Fleet Command plus 10, unlocks destroyer type ship, which would be good. Engineering facility, don't really need right now. Uh, better armor would be also great. Uh, Eon thrusters. Hmm. Engineering facility will be super fast, take nine months. Um, at least I can have time moving while I'm thinking here. Yeah, let's do the destroyer. Just to give us options. In the meantime, though, let's, let me upgrade the fleet. Ships refitted. All right, a new tradition time. So I've already done discovery. So now what? Leader lifespan, pop growth speed, shipyard build costs, prosperity, building upkeep, ship upkeep, reduced. Yeah, this is all about management stuff. I'm going to do prosperity. I, know, I mean, if you're going to do expansion, domination, supremacy, that, that, that just has to be your thing. But I need to focus internally because I don't know how far I'm going to be able to uh, expand, to be honest with you. Construction complete. Alright, ship cost did go down. Let's see. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of right hand to the surface of Xerus 3. Portion of the planet's upper atmosphere it appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Okay. Thank you, ISS Pilgrim. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Uh, governor has leveled up. That's good. Governor. God, it's hard for me to read this. I plugged it into my TV. I don't know if it will slow things down. I could read a little. Nah, it's still hard to read. Um, so there's that. There's that. Let's go to the construction ship. Um, I still want more minerals. I really do. But I want to get my colony ship ready. And I can't do that until Sirius has been colonized. So I'm first going to go here. And... <laughs> Build a star base on it. System reconnaissance completed. Okay, there's a science one. division reports a new breakthrough. Yeah, new breakthrough. All right, automated exploration. This is great. I'm definitely going to set one of my science ships to do this. Probably. Who's this? ISS Pilgrim? ISS Pilgrim, you are now on auto exploration. Do 
with the go. Alright, here we go. So, Sentinel Point Defense. I don't know if I'll be able to use it on my destroyers, so I'm going to wait on that. Power Plant 2. Did I already do Power Plant 2? Oh, no, I did Mineral Gathering 2. Duh. Assist Research. I still really like that, qual that, that one. Capacity Overload's another E-Deck I can use Influence on. Um, I should be careful about Influence, so when it comes to election time... No, I still have nine years for an election. Um, energy Grids... Hmm. Always good to have edX. But let me see what assist research planet. Planet unity output. This is different than what it was saying before, I thought, wasn't it? Um, okay, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get the edict. Uh, yeah. Can't get those minerals. How's my population doing? My population going down? That's bizarre. Oh no, this one's growing. This should be done in a sec, and then I'll get more minerals. Woohoo! Yeah. I'm gonna upgrade this to mining network. Two. System reconnaissance completed. Alright. Finally getting to the point where I'm gonna be able to produce dozens of minerals a month, which is what I need. Here are the Plastid Leviathan Space Whales. God bless them. Look at them. They're so cute. Alright, so... As predicted, I have... Here's where the edicts are gonna be. Um, and they cost either 200 influence or 1,000 energy. Uh, 200 influence is slightly closer. So farming subsidies last six, last 11 years, six months with plus 20% food output. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna up. Construction complete. I don't need to really stockpile because I'm not increasing. Let's see, scan the star into a small object, rapid orbit, small size, high velocity, make it difficult for our sensors to isolate. Sure, let's research. Alright, so, I can now colonize this. I gotta save some influence, is the thing. Construction complete. Scientist leveled up. Scientist leveled up. Construction complete. Alright. Getting lots of energy. Did it move around? Did it move that block around? Or is that up here? No, it's there. Alright, I'm, 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 I'm motoring now. I'm, I'm motorboating. Motorboating it. Um, okay. Power plant down here. We still have plenty of energy. I'm not going to waste that money. So, moment, why don't I build a Corvette, yeah, it's so much more powerful. So Recon pass completed. Power 30, power 19. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. All right, 
lots of stuff going on here. So I don't want to expand more star bases yet, but I do want to start getting even more minerals. Which I can in this very system right here. Alright, let's see. Star base building. Okay, so in this one I need to check on Off World tr Trading Company. How does this affect my other shipyard? Trading. Alright, energy credits 4? Did that already... Did that already take effect? Trading hub? Buildings? Crew quarters? Uh... Oh, interesting. Resource silo. Yeah, it's awesome that everything's based more on the big space stations and the planets themselves. It's just... It really distinguishes it from almost all other civilization type games, which is based around people and, and expansion of land. Alright, I'm still not totally clear on... Alright, um, production targets. Oh, this is, yeah, see I can boost mineral production are also another good edict. Um, I do need to... Well, if I, can, if I get my energy production going, I can do a lot of these edicts. Mineral output plus two. Food on the other two. Cool. Naval capacity, not there yet. Military academy. Let's see. Defense armies, don't need that yet. Um... Atmospheric filtering, habitability, that might not be the worst thing to have, actually, I get that quickly and it will help with the new planet. So let me do that. And then what did I discover? Uh, fleet command up 10, okay, so that's... Fleet destroyer. Alright, so before I do any technology, let me go to the ship designer. Let's see, destroyer, auto best is just lots of lasers. Costs a ton of money, has tons of power. 18 damage, woo! All right. I'm gonna just, there's medium blue laser up front, small blue. So between the mass driver is 3.45, Wouldn't hurt to have some shield damage. And I'm gonna upgrade the better version of this at some point. Improved reactor booster, which I don't need because I have tons of power. So I'm gonna upgrade the mass drivers next. This will be my, my first big ship project. Look at this thing. And here it is, a oh, swarmer missiles. Ooh, hello. Destroyer hull points, yeah. Immediately makes my destroyers better. Let me let me do that since my research speed is going pretty fast at this point, and then I'll build up build my fleet around one or two destroyers. <laughs> So while I was watching uh, Jeff Robinson, aka In Control, who I first came across being a semi-regular guest on the Co-Optional Podcast and a good buddy of Total Biscuit, um, a hilarious dude, great star. System reconnaissance player, completed. Lover Science of, Division reports a new breakthrough. Lover of fan, um, strategy games. This is he discovered this too recently with the 2.0 release, having not played it before, and it's been spent literally streaming dozens of hours. Uh, now he's much more brilliant mind than I for this type of stuff. Um, he was also way more aggressive and moved way faster early on. 
um, he was always sort of watching to see how, how can I increase mineral support. And really the best thing to do is just to, um, since it's cheaper to get a research station than it is to get uh, by far, than it is to either do planetary stuff, um, buildings, or I'm gonna say planetary buildings, you know, I'm talking like on my planet, or to, comp to get a star base on another planet, another solar system, and then colonize, and blah, 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 it costs a ton. At first you're going, well, you know, most of these uh, mineral producing planets and stars, like here's Sirius 4, right? Can't, uninhabitable toxic world, two resources. Costs about 80 to 90 to build a research station, but you make that money back in, um, let's see, two, if you're getting two a year, 25, you basically make it back in three to four years, which is a bit of a long-term investment, but then all of a sudden you're getting 40, 50, 60, minerals a month instead of you know what i have now 25. so i'm gonna really try and focus on um not expanding too fast and really getting all the resources from within my empire as possible now that i have a super fast research go going as well um i'm still only nine years into my regime so all right here's the capacity overload another edict i can choose from um using influencer energy this to so this is, would be spending energy to get energy. Uh, we'll see if I ever need that. All right. Cold fusion reactor. That could be great for my ships. Gravitic sensors, listening posts. Oh, listening posts for, uh, uh, yeah, research stuff. UV laser, updated the more powerful version of the blue predecessor. Ooh, that means I'm gonna get bonuses on this immediately. Wow, damage 162, even the small ones do 10. Gotta do it. Better to upgrade ships I already have, right? In the meantime, I'm gonna take their design. I think I've lost the mass, the mass driver uh, situation for now. All right, so now here's the construction ship. Construction complete. So, you know, I have a, I'm 131 going on about 155 minerals. This is gonna cost me 90, but within three years I make my money back and it takes nothing but energy upkeep. So that's where the energy is starting to maybe cause a few problems for me. Um, I can't completely ignore energy. Cause I'm not spending much, but I'm also not making much. But in the meantime, I am going to get that. I also could, then I'll go, I will go back to Alpha Centauri and get two energy credits here. And that doesn't cost me anything. boats actually aren't my best option right now because yeah until I can improve the mass driver oh it's not bad actually what's this the vampire yeah vampire's not bad Notice I'm still using two science ships and one construction ship. All right, destroyer prices are coming down, which is nice. Let's see, here's another. Oh, there's actually a, a straight up Alpine world. Oh, ton. Construction complete. Needs some terraforming development, but is very inha inhabitable uh, as compared to Sirius, which is super mineral rich. So those, these will be my two planets once I get there. Because Alpha Centauri is not not worth it, I don't think. Taking evasive action. Nope. Oh, we hit somebody. 
More of the crystalline bad guys, perhaps? Where's he gonna move? Alright. Alright, there's tradition. Prosperity. So we got... So mineral, co mineral cost of consumer goods down by 20%, which is awesome. Or we, we will get there. Shipyard build speed, building build speed by 15%. That's great. Energy output by 5%. In addition, trading hubs produce one additional energy. You know, because I've neglected energy so much, I kind of need to do this. And I'm getting unity relatively quickly. that I'm going to be able to get the construction templates down soon, and I don't want to run out of energy, so this is definitely what I'm going to do. I immediately just got two to three more energy a month, which is for, for essentially for free. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Construction ship. Um, I do want to start buying more shippy ships, which, by the way, unless I'm upgrading my shippy ships, I might as well keep them I might as well keep them there because I'm going to upgrade them. Why unpause this bitch? By the way, the fact this is running, yes, it's a new MacBook Pro, but it's lower end model. It doesn't have a dedicated graphics card. It looks unbelievable. I mean, can I even. I can't see here. It'd be a good place to. Uh, well, I showed you the space whales before, they looked amazing. Here, you will just look at my fleet. Look at them. Look at them. Move them. Look how fast. Alright, so the construction ship in the meantime... What do I need more of? My research is moving really fast, so... Why don't I come back... System reconnaissance completed. Okay, so I, I said I wasn't going to do any more space stations, but here I'll have the wormhole. I have a point that connects to much of, a couple other points that are important in space, and I'll have access to a good amount of more energy and minerals. So this will I, I can't I can't give up this opportunity. And hopefully I'll have enough influence to do an edict or something coming up soon. I mean, you know, my research has been somewhat slow. Because if you look, I mean, I've had like two, three times these research numbers up here in previous playthroughs. But because I increased the speed of research and I've invested in research, I'm trying to get, get other supplies. Okay, so now is the time to start... Oh, we shouldn't start stockpiling food. What would an edict cost? The food edict. It would cost 200 influence, of which we have 100. Okay. We are going to need to make food, though, so make food soon, though. So, of colonizable planets, which is already way more than in past games. High quality minerals on Alpha Centauri 3, really? Huh. Has only has six base minerals and one base energy, but does have eight base food. And I can easily convert these to other buildings. Alpine World has a lot of built-in minerals and more built-in energy. It's a little further, a little smaller. Well, I won't have to do nearly as much work on building in the beginning. But here I can get some good combos of food and minerals. So yeah, I think Alpha Centauri is definitely the... I need 300 minerals to colonize, so that'll be the next, the next goal. I 
there's another planet. Not surveyed yet. Wet climate, so probably not going to be the best for me. Uh, there's a special resource here, Batharian Stone, which I have to research, but I know I can. So I'm saving up for this colony because... Anomaly found. 5%, unknown structure, floating in a gas giant, appear to be aerostatic lift to remain buoyant. Mm, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So one more time, let me make sure I'm making the right call in here. Yeah, there's more just combos right off the bat. I will have to clear these tiles. Let's see, volcanoes, wildlife, volcano, mountain range. I have to research all of Science these. Science division think. reports a new breakthrough. Or is Sirius? Ah, Sirius has plenty to. Yeah. All right. There we go. Uh, we'll start with food and uh, minerals, I think. Alpha Centauri Prime. Bada bang. Habitability plus 5%. Beautiful. No wonder those numbers are better. I don't really need any of these. Elite Academy. For our newly recruited crews to be fully combat ready. They must have capable uh, uh, officers leading them. Fleet Academy will ensure those officers up to date knowledge. So, ship starting experience is up. And. I guess that's it. I don't really need any of these, so I'm gonna go towards frequency tuning. Hoping that that might open some other directions for me. Construction complete. Anomaly found. Alright. More life signs? Sure. Whoa. Aerostat colonies. A ruined network of aerostat colonies dating back at least three millennia can be found in low orbit in this gas giant. Their original function appears to have been gas mining, but they have since been abandoned and reoccupied by many different races and pirate groups. Colonies have been thoroughly stripped of anything even remotely valuable. The mere fact they are still aloft. Uh, makes them an interesting subject of engineering research. Okay. No. Again, in auto pauses, I get plus three engineering research. That's great. Let's see. Do I want to research this? Plus, uh, yeah. All right. So once again, my construction ship is waiting for stuff to do. My mineral output is pretty good. My energy output is getting a little low. Now I am with my new planet, which is gonna take a while. Here's my budget. Ship upkeep. All right, so my monthly expenses of upkeep is 25. So I'm producing 52 or whatever. Oh, there's the, right, there's the energy balance. So it's really five, not four. Base income, monthly income. Uh, ship upkeep is station, building upkeep, starbase upkeep, yep. Mm -hmm. Recon pass completed. Clear blocker con. Discovered a thriving ecosystem. Okay. Just more research. That's great. I'm going to pause for one sec. Government. I could reform the government. That's not going to happen. So, right. So I might want to actually change the leader. And I can't remember. Government form also is 250 influence. I need to save influence. The election is still 10 years away, so that's not a big deal. But I definitely want to influence that election when it happens. Um, what did I want to do here? Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I need more, more energy stations. And I want this will start on my interior, which is more... Which is Recon pass protected. completed. So it's going to come all the way back here to build a mining station, which has no upkeep, because it produces energy, and it, I guess it powers its own energy, which is great. 
there anything I can do with these whales? They're just kind of hanging out. Okay. Research has slowed down. I've certainly not prioritized it. Can I upgrade any of these? Anything going on here? Let's see. Upgrade. Can I upgrade this? Let's see. To hydroponics farm. Yep. Get some more food going. Uh, what else can I upgrade? Upgrade to power plant two. That's all good. Oh, this I want to upgrade. That's right. To the heritage site to get more unity. Okay. Science division reports a new breakthrough. All right. Scientists level three. God, the music's so good in this. I've heard this stuff a million times too. Deep space travels. All right. Lasers. Great. So immediately, I'm going to upgrade these guys. New research. Okay. FTL in inhibitors. Now this is dope because planets with a stronghold or fortress can basically uh, lock the FTL capabilities of fleets coming in. Don't think I need that right now. Plasma thrower? Plasma thrower? It's just armor and hull damage. That's pretty filthy. 12 to 15. Disruptors. Right, so disruptors like in some, most science fiction tear apart life. Yeah, that's pretty vicious. I think I'm gonna go with the plasma thrower for now. Although I don't know where this counter I'm curious to see what this countermeasure stuff does. And it's quick research, so let me do that first. Alright. So once once I increase my food output, I'm waiting for this. Ships refitted. I'm waiting for this influence to get to 200, or this to 1,000, so I can put an edict to make more food. Okay, ships refitted. Great. I really want to build at least one destroyer. I gotta save up for that. My fleet is already up to 403 strength with just seven ships, which is really, really good. It's really, really, really good. Might be time for a bathroom. System break reconnaissance completed. Okay, so. Construction complete. Whoa, whoa. What's this? Negative balance? Oh, we need energy credits. Right, it started going down. Large amount of ships debris can be found in orbit around this planet. Possibly remnants of some kind of massive fleet action. Okay, research that. Yep. 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 Spaceport. Okay. But now I need energy, of course. I knew this was gonna happen. And I don't have my new planet yet. So, first things first. I can't upgrade that energy. Because I don't have that freaking technology. So what can I do? Well, construction ship is gonna help but to get us some energy. And we're gonna have to go up, all up and down with the energy symbols and just drop, you know, 70, 80, whatever cost per and just get the energy going. There's no other, uh, no two ways about it. But yeah, it's the colony ship that's taking a lot of energy. Nothing we can do about that. All right, so this ship now, I guess I just put it on, uh... Construction complete. No reason to do... Let's see how far it can get before it has to retreat. Construction ship. I need that energy. I need it. So 
signs of battle, clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Trimus 1 at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one side of the planet is pockmarked with craters from stray weapons blasts and scans from the ISS Nomad have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains at all after the damage, uh, after the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design. Science officer Nanami Okada is preparing expedition to sift through the derelict hulls for any valuable technologies. Okay. The new project there. See, but that's exactly why you um, save up on energy. Okay, so now... Food stockpiling is going to go up. To a I don't know how, what, how that reverberates with other stuff, but I'm sick of, of wasting food. I could have hundreds of food by now. I should have done that right from the beginning. So I'm also about to do an edict very soon that's going to increase food production. Anomaly found. There's anomaly. 10% failure risk. Let's see. Sensor profile of the mid sized vessel was briefly detected inside. 10% risk? System yeah. reconnaissance completed. Sure. This guy should be done. Science division report success. Oh, I guess he was still traveling. All right, what do we got here? Destroyer hull points. We got to start getting destroyers. Energy siphon. Drain weapons, draining energy from the ship, and so it does 10 to 27 damage. Average damage 3.46. Sucks weapons off the shields. All right. Edict cost. Yep, that's what we want. Edict cost down 15%. Definitely. No doubt. Eon Thruster, Corvette hit points again. Hmm. Plasteel Armor 3, that's more universally usable, I think. Is a is Plasteel Armor for Type 3. So I will research that. And I'm almost at the point where I can build a. Paradigm class destroyer. While we're waiting for that, let's look at it. Gas giant ship. Active scans of Trimus 3 have picked up what appears to be a large ship deep inside the atmosphere. Judging by nearby debris, there have been several failed attempts to salvage this derelict in the past. Any, stri any ship strong enough to withstand such crushing gravity must be a magnificent prize. Science officer Nanami Okada has proposed a salvage product. Oh god. And leave it down there. Effort is too great. You know what? You only you only live once, folks. YOLO. In the meantime. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's an energy siphon and two UV lasers. Also has an afterburner. And this armor is gonna get really sick. So yeah, Ca Cavalier class. That's the, that, that is definitely the way to go. Now, question is for Destroyer. Paradigm class Destroyer. Oh, puts a large laser up front and a small one entry siphon in back. Ooh, this is fantastic. Oh yeah, that's the one I want. Paradigm, I'm gonna stick with their designs. So Cavalier, I'll get rid of mine for now. I can always make more. I don't want too much energy. Paradigm, Cavalier, Paradigm and Cavalier, Paradigm, Cavalier, Paradigm, Cavalier. All right. Also, before you, I can upgrade the defensive platform for eighty-four. I don't feel like I need to right now. I want to get that first destroyer out the door. See what that does for my fleet strength. No, I can recruit a better general if I want. 
He's 56. This guy's young, 33. Nation sub light speed. Construction complete. Uh, not worth it. Alright, so back to zero with energy, which is fine. It's time for a build of destroyer. Let's do this. Oh, it's 297. There we go. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Alright, pioneers have made planet fall. Colony ship managed with surprising grace to maneuver between the massive peaks that are so prevalent in the jagged landscape of the Alpha Safari Prime. Uh, a touchdown in a sheltered valley that will serve as an ideal first landing site. The ship has been permanently converted into administrative headquarters. New settlement. Its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents, yada, yada, yada. Great day for all of us. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to start upgrading buildings. Like the monument I've been saying I was going to upgrade forever, and I haven't, of course. And I hope I didn't lose the technology to upgrade the energy grid, but it does appear... System reconnaissance completed. But, uh, I guess the energy grid is sort of the upgraded one I took instead of the power plant. Oh, because energy grid, you don't need people, I suppose. <laughs> I just need 150 minerals for that heritage site. I'm getting it. I'm, I'm getting it. All right, there's my construction ship. Okay, Alpha Centauri is completely mined. Upgrade that fleet. Up to 572. Nine ships, baby. Ships refitted. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let's see. First thing I'm doing is upgrading that monument. It's going to take a while for Alba Centauri to get actually settled in. So, in the meantime, I'll take care of some other tasks here. Only two more months until I can. Upgrade. Science division report success. Mitra. All right. Sentinel point defense. Right. This one I'm still not sure goes where. So let's see. Cold fusion reactor. Does that upgrade everything? Hyperdrive two. System reconnaissance completed. All right. Let's slow this down. Observing massive asteroid. We have found something. Further investigation. Ten percent fail. Okay. Do it. Um, uh, hyperdrive. New generation of hyperdrives, essentially. That'll be for everything. Physics lab. Should I get it while it's still super cheap? No, I don't know. I could use the research, to be honest with you. Let me do it. It's not going to take, shouldn't take me very long. Yeah, 11 months is nothing. Alright, edicts, here we go. Prosperity. So here's where the shipyard and building building build speed goes up, or energy grid and energy nexus now also produce two unity. Oh that's fantastic, because I'm about to build an energy grid. Hmm. But that's a, that's a passive thing that comes later. I don't have that yet, so now let's go here. All right, so let's go to our homeworlds. Mitra, and let us upgrade this to heritage site. Well, there was a warning there that I completely ignored. So if there was a warning, whatever. That's gonna allow us to get through traditions much, much more quickly. System reconnaissance completed. All right, so. Mm -hmm. 
increases all the energy credits on the planet. I probably should have waited for the energy grid, but oh well. Mining your own business. Deep within the crevice of the giant asteroid, we have found something astonishing. There's mining gear attached to the rock, digging itself into the vast depths of the asteroid. It stands abandoned with no signs of the plates in there. If we can stop the machine, we might be able to learn something about the technology to build it, but we must hurry. Scrap it for materials or try and stop the machine. To be honest with you, I could really use 539 materials right now. I can't afford to not take that. Sorry, guys. Because now I can start building more of my construction ship. The mining station, and the mining station. Right there, I'm getting more income. Had to do it. Much smaller than my empire was last time, but I could really use a little more research, even though my, I'm researching very quickly. Um, oh yeah, I also should let's build a couple ships, and then we'll we'll say we have a sick fleet. All right. So we are going to build one. Ooh, t t tubulant class automatically generated. Let's see, 16 damage versus 21 damage? Why, why would I do that? Space piracy. Certain irrational criminal elements of our society have left Mitra to seek outlaws' life in the far reaches of space and display surprising ingenuity. These brigands have heavily modified and weaponized large of civilian starships. Oh, great. They're called the Brotherhood of the Void. Yeah, we'll take care of them. So let's get these ships going. Um. My paradigm has 29 damage. Why wouldn't I do that? Shield recharge rate. So get in the paradigm. And then Cavalier. Once I get a little bit more money. Alright, now where are these pirates at? That's Alien Menace, Alien Menace, Alien Vessels, Space Amoeba, Alien Vessels. I'm gonna be able to start taking some of these guys. Not the him. Mm, probably not the him, but I could take him. Yeah, or him. And there's a lot in this system. Alright, so where are these space pirates then? Or they just haven't appeared yet? Skywatch is tracking a new enemy fleet. All right, well there's where the uh, pirates are. But you guys are screwed. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And the space whales are here too. All right, so I think it's F nine. Did work. All right, so I'm gonna Station reports enemy contact. So I'm gonna tur turn everything way down to the slowest. I select my fleet. I'm gonna attack the pirate fleet. I'm going to zoom in on my fleet. So 
let's see. Control F9, I think it is. All right, here we go. Watch this, watch this battle. My star base. One of, our, one of my stations, I should say. Let's see how this is streaming. Is it streaming okay? Looks a little choppy. Not terrible. Oh, look, did something get destroyed? <laughs> Destroyer tear him apart. I'm not looking at the stats, but I should be winning this quicker ult just because I'm on slow speed. I don't know the hotkeys for faster speed. There's one destroyed. Anybody? They left everybody. I should analyze their ship more, I suppose. So the first thing we want to do is combine these fleets. Won't let me for some reason. Anomaly found. Five percent by chance stumbled across a faint alien signal during a survey of this planet of Rukular Two. Of course, appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. Could be distress trans distress uh, distress transponder. It's hard to think. Research. Yes. All right. It's always confusing to think of why why it will or won't transfer. Maybe I have to get repaired. Nope. Don't want to transfer. Repair fleet, and this fleet can go home. It's already. They just have to be in the same place. Wait, what is this? Oh, these are the space whales. They're not hurting anybody. Alright. So where are we here? We won that battle pretty handily. We're still losing mad energy credits. So construction ship needs to get us. We just need more energy everywhere. Construction complete. So, where can we take some people away from to get energy? This is still, no, this is still not built yet anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, and this planet is definitely not finished. Hmm, the resources changed on this planet. That's weird. Hmm. Alright, 
so. Alright. So I took that guy out pretty easily. I'm gonna be able to, gonna be able to take out this guy easily. Why don't I build one more construction ship? I only had one the whole game. I can't afford another one. There we go. There's my fleet. It's a good fleet. Construction complete. It's a really good, good, good fleet. The mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species and found drifting high over orbit Rickler 2. Being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete with a helmet and may be a fighter pilot that ejected in some ancient battle, only to be forgotten and left behind. Our study of the corpse has provided some interesting data. 6D society research. Boom. Yeah, I really could, uh, I could use more research. Use more everything right now. Um... So I'm on my construction ship now. Here's what it's gonna do. Because I need energy. It's gonna go here first. Gonna build a mining station here. And then I'm gonna build some research mining stations else. Up up around here. I'm gonna maximize my small area as much as possible. I believe this is called playing tall as opposed to wide. It's a series of videos I haven't fully watched yet, but you know, in most expansion games, you need to play t wide and and tall, or at least w wide. In this game, you can play, I think, with a small but very streamlined, powerful empire, which is very cool. Recon pass completed. Recon pass completed. Cool. Should I go all Science the division there? report success. You know what? While he's out here, why not just go here? Go here. Okay, let me just stop everything. You're going to go here... And then you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna report back. You know what, I don't need to go any more near that stuff, so I'm gonna go here, and then up here. I'm probably gonna bump into somebody. But if not, I'm gonna keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And then we'll revisit the situation. Construction complete. This fleet is really filthy strong. It's about time for me to strike out and start killing some pirates, I think. How strong is this? I want to be at least 2 to 1. They're 532. 532. Yeah, I really want to get this guy. Alright, physics research. What did I just research? Physics lab? Oh, right. I didn't really need that. You know what, though? I, I could use a physics lab. I actually could. Alright. Plasma thrower, assist research. I'm still not totally sure how they help the planet. I guess if they're doing nothing else. Oh, here's power plant, too. This is what I need. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't lose that. All right, and then what are the research technologies? Plasteel armor, awesome. Engineering, nope, don't need that. Robotics, missiles. Oh, there's the there's the mass drivers. Do I need the mass driver? Is the question though. Hmm. Missiles just go right through shields. All right, let's see what robotics does, just to, just for the hell of it. Oh no, you know what? No, let's do the coil gun first, so I can upgrade the mass drivers and then jump on some of this other stuff because it's only be eight, eight months of research. <laughs> All right, speaking of which, time to go here. Construction complete. All right, 
774, getting stronger. Thing, I guess to be bleeding energy, but just for now, we'll do it. All right, scientists did make it to level four, that's great. Buildings are taking too much income. That's what it's telling me. See, I thought Alpha Centauri was gonna have tons of minerals and it's got jack nothingness. Anomaly found. Alright. Searching an anomaly in an asteroid? Sure, let's do it. And it's cool how you start with some armies and protection of your spaceport for sure. Science Division report success. There's a coil gun, so I should be able to upgrade again? Or do I not have... Maybe I'm not even using it at this point, so, so it's just a waste. Hmm. So is that ro did I miss robotics completely? That's too bad. I still want to build Corvettes. I guess I have good technology for Corvettes. I have pl so antimatter missiles. Yeah, let's get those first. I don't want to miss out on those. All right. So once that power plant recon pass completed. Once that power plant two gets built. Conducting their survey of LV-2079, the crew of the ISS Nomad picked up several life signs coming from within the asteroid. There appears to be a colony of large, burrowing, worm-like lithovores within the rock, which have been railed with uh, tunnels or funnels. These unique life forms have somehow adapted to a life in the coldness of space. Okay. Building those mining stations. I need energy. I need energy. Oh, that's why. He's been doing nothing here. Great. Okay, well that's gonna give us some energy. And then I need to start colonizing some of these places. Maximizing energy uh, creation on the planets as well. Oh, I've got tons of edicts. Oh, here, this would be cool. Okay, this would be a good time to do an edict. So I've got all the influence, um, capacity overload, farming subsidies, research grants, political thought. So I'm going to do farming subsidies for now and just stock up on food. There we go. 
So I don't have to worry about that later as much, hopefully. Alright, so my fleet is pretty stacked. So now it's going to be the first time I actually do a manual save that I care about. Because if I get wrecked by the fleet, I probably still won't change anything, but... Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Right, do a quick pause. Uh, okay, so here's Power Plant 2. So, how much will it cost to upgrade this? Oh, we're almost there. So we're going to upgrade that one first. Alright, Cold Fusion Reactor. Hyperlane breach points, research speed. Let's go for cold fusion. Let's see where that takes us. All right, strike force chimera. Time to lay the smacketh down. System reconnaissance completed. Speaking of which. Oh wait, what? Now we have alien menace. Oh, that's okay. Oh, okay. Well, there goes my... ...science ship. This will be interesting, actually. So, this guy is old. He was cheap to recruit, but he doesn't have anything else going on. But I can afford to get someone else now. Better evasion, better speed, lifespan, lifespan, sensor range, sublight speed plus 20. I'm gonna say this guy. That shouldn't. Taking sense. evasive action. Alright. So, time to slow this down a little bit. Oh wait, shit, did I go to the wrong system here? Yeah, this is not where I wanted to go. Oh boy. Nope, nope. See, that's exactly why. Oh no, wait, that's my... Okay, fine. I thought I was attacking and playing Taking a Taking evasive action. Alright, takes evasive action, that's fine. Do what you gotta do. This guy's about to jump. Here it comes. Did I just have the one destroyer? Two destroyers. Sweet. I actually got pretty far before I hit more bad guys. Construction complete. All right, there's the upgrade. Construction complete. Oh, interesting. They didn't... Huh. Where's my other mining ship? He's there. I can get back here. Is it worth it? I kind of need some exploration over here. This could take a while. Anomaly found. I guess I'm not in a huge rush. I'm gonna wait till I build another survey ship. It's gonna take a while. All right. So I'm still low on energy. I knew this was going to happen, but at least my minerals are decent. 
Um, let's see here. Let's go here. I see that's why I, that's why I took that straight up six hundred cash earlier. <laughs> Construction complete. Sorry guys, all the low risk research stuff, I'm just signing off on at this point. Colony still... Only nine more months, alright, we're almost there. And then we're gonna have to build all sorts of shit. God damn it. Your surveyors, a bunch of idiots. No one wants to fight us. Um, oh, I was just going to check on the unity, and there it is. Boom. All right. Energy grid, more unity. Building upkeep. Yeah, I need to reduce upkeep. That's it. How's that? Easy. Yep. And immediately it's going to put me out of the red. Thank you very much. Is there anything else I can do on Mitra? Let's see. Should I clear this? Clear tile? Alright, found some stuff there. Let me clear one of these tiles. Let's see. I need to get more physics research. So that would be this tile. Let's see if these guys will fight me. Scientist level four, sweet. What is going on with my military? They keep running from us. Cowards. All right, well. If they keep running, then I guess I'll go Field back Field engineers home. have cleared a blocker. All right, so what would it cost to build? Oh, I have to upgrade the science lab? upgrade all the power plants first. It's not the worst thing in the world. You know what? Let me stay here. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Stay there for now. This guy's just gonna go back to Seoul. And they're gonna go back to Seoul. And then they're gonna accompany one another to do some shit. Alright, 
anti-matter missiles. Hull points, another hundred? Man, it's hard not to do that. Good fucking value. Mineral processing plant, I definitely want to get that. Are they highlighting that? Because they say it's a rare technology. Gotta do it. It's a purple, it's a rare. If you're a car collector, you know what that means. It just means, you know, building fewer ships and having more, more power in that fleet. Construction complete. What was that noise? Construction complete. Oh, the energy's going now. Boom, mining station. Mining station. Colony established. Mining station. I now am plus 10 energy a month. Boom. That's all I wanted. I'm st stockpiling food. I'm stockpiling unity. Dude, I'm a fucking baller. Look at this tiny little thing. I'm already producing way better than two, three times the size earlier. I guess I should probably expand a tiny bit more, but... All right, well, in terms of... Yeah, that's too strong anyways. I mean, the thing is, what's keeping us in our little corner is also keeping us shielded from other people, I guarantee you. But if I can get over here, this would be a nice, sorry, I should leave time running. This would be a nice way of maintaining a space lane. A lot of minerals out here. I mean, my next should definitely be, yeah, here, this system. Alright, so one construction construction is not there. Oh no way. New faction has been gaining Okay. A new faction has recently been gaining traction uh, in the internal political landscape of the Alari nation. Led by scientists Japan, they call themselves intuitive night scientists. Uh, advancement of science. Okay, I'm not too worried about them being disgruntled at this point, but I know factions can be in the pain in the butt. Really quickly. Let's get the right. Yeah, so this guy is gonna go. set up another base uh, outpost over there. Election is still f three plus years away. I don't know if I'll have enough influence, but with my shadow government power, I should be able to swing the election. I don't know if I'm also going to be more powerful in my first 20, 25 years in this run, but I'm certainly more dynamic and have a better even flow of energy and mineral credits, which is what I really was prioritizing, obviously. Um, speaking of which, why don't I give myself even more minerals? <laughs> Alright. Now, no one wants to fight me right now, so what am I gonna do? <laughs> Investigating. Investigating. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Recon pass completed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's what we've looked, we've seen so far. 
There's the Alari Nation. About to expand a tiny bit. There it is. Let's build our space station. Beautiful. Again, running this on a Mac that shouldn't be able to really run the game well, let alone at high detail, but it looks spectacular. Let's turn off the uh, the HUD. Whoops. Nope, didn't want to do that. New metal. Alright, so this is the type of living metal uh, that we can now research. Ooh, my mouse wheel is not working for some reason. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Let me save the game. The Isis Nomads found in Samovic 3 8 not buildings, but regular mineral outcropping. Science officer Okada asserts that these angular blocks of rock are the product of interactions between tectonic plates that shapes the result of, it, of unusual tectonic phys tectonophysics inherent in planet's crust. The perfect angularity of these uh, thrust faults implies the possibility of aliens tampering with the crust at some point in the past. <laughs> Alright, so, so I hit something in the controls that screwed me up. Construction complete. Alright, well this will be a good time to save the file, and uh, I will just take a short break and be back on. Thanks y'all. <laughs>